how to defeat the spirit of poverty and lack. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4:19. Fellow graduates, I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are, because not all schools offer such an advantage. Here we have had a high degree of academic excellence, and whether you intend to continue your education or not, you will benefit from what you learned here. We should also be thankful for our families. These past four years have presented us with a lot of ups and downs, and it is good to know that we had our families in our corner, supporting us along the way. Thanks mom and dad. I would not be here today without you. I'm so proud of you Jenny my daughter. Today is a great blessing, I got to witness the graduation of my last daughter. God is wonderful. Thank you mom, for all your support and encouragement. I couldn't have made it this far without you. It is my pleasure, my girl. Congratulations my sister. You really worked so hard my dear. I'm very proud of you. Thank you big sis. It's not much but we had to do a little surprise party for you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Enjoy, you deserve it. God is good. <clears throat> Uncle John are you already drunk? You talk about me being drunk. Did you buy me the alcohol? You need to go and sit down before you fall on the guests. Mom. Mom. Come and get your brother. You have no respect for your elders. I hope you be the one to actually get a job. What do you mean? Didn't both your sister and brother graduate with honors, but your sister is selling at the market and your brother is a janitor at his old primary school. What are you insinuating uncle? Ask your father what he did that my sister has to die in poverty even after sending all three children to the best schools. We're done here uncle. What are you telling that child John? Am I lying? Are you not going to take care of this one too even after this graduation? You're a problem when you get drunk. This is not the place for your nonsense. We have guests here who came to celebrate Jenny. I'm leaving then. I'll not stay where I'm not wanted. What Uncle John said yesterday at my graduation party has been troubling me. I had not really thought about it all. It is true my sister and brother are graduates but are struggling to make ends meet. They normally come here to get some assistance from mom and dad for their families to survive. Am I just going to end up like them? Maybe they're just not serious with life, my case will be different. I can't compare myself to them. Hello Tatenda. Hi Jenny, how are you? I'm good dear. What are you up to? Have you started with job applications yet? I'm about to start, I'm just finishing updating my CV. How about you? Same here, I'll be starting to send out emails today. I'm just worried I'll not get a job as soon as I'd like. I wouldn't worry if I were you, you're our best. Companies will be scrambling to get you to join them. You think so? I believe so. Thank you Tatenda. Let me get on with my applications. I'll talk to you later. Chat later Jenny. Months later. Another we regret to inform you. Jenny. You need to come and eat. You have been sitting on that computer all day. I'm not hungry mom. I'll eat later. My daughter starving yourself won't make you get a job sooner. You're going to fall sick. I'm really worried about you Jenny. I need to try harder mom. All my classmates have found jobs and been working for months. I'm now just frustrated. Everyone's time is different my daughter, wait on the Lord. Hey sis. Hi Jenny. To what do I owe this visit? You sound like I don't visit you here. Yes, you don't and that's okay. I'm sorry for not checking up on you lately I've just been depressed. At least you still afford to take time to get depressed, that's rich people problems. 
Anyway, do you have some time to chat? As you can see, I'm working Janie. I know but I have something important to talk to you about. We can talk, I'm listening. It requires privacy Whitney. It's very important I talk to you about it. How important is important? Important enough for you to close for a few minutes. All right then. There is a coffee shop right around the corner. We can sit and chat in there. So talk to me. What's up? I don't know where to start. Are you pregnant and don't know who the father is? What? Why would you think something like that? Because you're wasting my time and I have to go back to work. All right. All right. Do you think our family is cursed? Why do you say that? We are all graduates, but we can't seem to find a job in our fields. I honestly don't know, Jenny. It used to worry me too until I just gave up. You will get used to it too. Just find any job. No, Whitney, I don't want to give up. There is something that uncle said at my graduation party that disturbed me at that time, but now I'm worried he might be right. What did that drunk say? He said that I wasn't going to find a job. None of us do. And we should ask our dad. He knows. I don't know what dad knows or doesn't know, but your situation is getting strange. I honestly thought things were going to be different for you. I'll have to go ask dad about it today. I don't think that's going to help. Even if he knows something, do you think he is going to come straight out and tell you, a child of Jess today? So what should we do? I now fully believe that this problem is spiritual and we need to tackle it on a spiritual level. We need to find spiritual guidance, my sister. I hear you, but lately it's hard to find true men or women of God. Most are wolves in sheep clothing. Yes, most churches are now just family and businesses. But we can pray for God to guide us to the right church. Hi, Jenny. Hi, sis. I've been calling you. Didn't you see all my missed calls? Sorry, I've been sleeping. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. I was referred to a pastor who I believe might be able to guide us. I gave him a call and I chatted with him a little. That's fantastic. When can we go see him? Tomorrow around midday. We meet at the market first, then we go together. Works for me. See you tomorrow. Jenny, I hope you have your own bus fare. I don't, but I'll ask mom. That's fine then. See you tomorrow. Welcome to our church sister Whitney and sister Jenny. Thank you, Pastor Michael, for having us. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Pastor, for being generous with your time. Ladies, when Whitney reached out to me a few days ago, I went into prayer with my wife about your situation. The Lord gave us a revelation that your family is dealing with a spirit of poverty and lack. What does that entail, Pastor? You know the devil first attacks our minds. He is the father of lies according to John 8:44. Here are some signs of a poverty spirit, feeling unworthy to be blessed, a fear of success and abundance, passivity, dead mentality, a small vision, the fear of failure and a victim mentality. So how can we overcome this spirit of poverty and lack? Here are three powerful biblical keys to overcome the poverty spirit, focus on your soul prosperity. 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers dedicate what you do and have, to God's glory. According to Matthew 6.33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Improve what you have. And he said to him, Well done, good servant. Because you were faithful in a very little, have authority over ten cities. Luke 19.17 How long will it take for us to be delivered, Pastor? I need a job as soon as yesterday. Please be patient and remain fervent in prayer. Deliverance is a process, you can't rush God. Impatience is why most people run to charismatic prophets and herbalists for a quick solution and end up in bondage. Pastor please don't mind Jenny. We will be patient with our deliverance and remain prayerful. I believe God will come through for us. He always does, he never forsakes his children. Amen. Whitney. Jenny and their brother decided to start a 21-day Daniel fast. You're really serious about joining us for the fast, right? Yes, I am. I also need my life to change my sister. 
I'm tired of living in poverty. I'm glad you're up for it. What can we eat on the Daniel Fast? The diet includes fruits, vegetables, pulses, whole grains and water. Can we eat eggs? No, we can't eat eggs. What else is not allowed? Animal products, or meat, dairy, seafood and eggs. Sweeteners. Leavened bread. Refined and processed foods. Deep fried foods. Solid fats. Chocolate. And please mainly drink water only if you can. Thank you my sister, I understand now. Also take time to pray and meditate on the word of God during this time. We will be waking each other at midnight to pray together. This is spiritual warfare. I'll definitely wake up and join you and Jenny in prayer. Every altar of poverty in my place of birth, working against my prosperity, burn to ashes, in Jesus' name. Every satanic priest, ministering against my prosperity in any evil altar, die by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every strength and power of every environmental altar upon my life wither, in the name of Jesus. I raise up altar of continuous prosperity upon my destiny, in the name of Jesus. Let every evil seed of generational poverty, dry up, in the name of Jesus. I command the stronghold of inherited poverty, in my life, to be pulled down by the blood of Jesus. Every stronghold of mental and spiritual poverty in my life, be uprooted by fire, in the name of Jesus. Any covenant in my life that is strengthening the stronghold of poverty, break, in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold of poverty, in the place where I am living now, and in my place of work, I pull you down, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, create opportunities for my prosperity today, in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out, every negative word enforcing poverty into my life, in the name of Jesus. Spirit of stinginess, disappear from my life, in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out, the spirit of disobedience, in the name of Jesus. Where other people are spending money, I refuse to spend bold face, in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of poverty, fired into my life, come out with all your roots, in the name of Jesus. Every curse of poverty, placed upon my family, be consumed by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every curse of poverty, fired into my life by household wickedness, go back to your sender, in Jesus' name. Day 16 of the Daniel Fast Sorry ma'am you can't come near the accident. Officer please, that's my uncle's car. Is he alright? I'm sorry, I can't disclose that information right now. Hello mom. Hi Jenny. Are you alright? I just saw an accident on my way home and it is Uncle John's car. What? Is he alright? I don't know, they said they can't tell me that now. Did you speak to him today? Yes he called me a few hours ago. I suspected that he was drunk as usual, he was just shouting saying your children think they can defeat me but they won't. I didn't understand what it was about. That's alright mom, I understand what he meant. I will talk to you when I get home, Uncle John died on the spot. Over 30 years ago Uncle John had a disagreement with Jenny's father, his brother-in-law and he went to a Sangoma to put a curse on him and his family. Nothing he did was ever going to be fruitful and including every generation after him. God delivered Jenny's family and the spirit of poverty and lack was broken off of their lives. Jenny, Whitney and Rodney all found good jobs in their respective fields. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe so that our channel reaches more children of God. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. If you wish to support this channel even further please sign up for channel memberships, the link will be in the description below. All prayer points and other perks will be available to you. God bless you.